All right, that, man, that was awesome, guys. Um, out here in North Florida and just unbelievable. Um, been hunting this new spot all season and passed on some good deer. I may have even passed on this deer once before. I'm not sure, we'll have to, we'll have to see. But hadn't got a deer out here all year. Had, had one opportunity and wasn't able to uh, take advantage of it. But um, uh, last week of the season, right here in zone C, and um, really was hoping to get a buck out here before the end of the year. And really cold this morning, Martin Luther King Day right here. I apologize, I don't have any, didn't get any video. I mean, it was right at legal shooting light. He came in probably just a couple minutes before legal shooting light and, you know, it was lighting up. I could see it was a deer, put my binoculars on him and, and, and saw a rack and was hoping it was this big nine point that, that I've been after. Um, but I don't think it is. Uh, but when I shot, I couldn't even tell. I just knew it was a, it was a, a good rack buck. Um, he got downwind of me and I could tell, I could tell that he smelled something because he kept turning around and kind of came back, coming back and he, and I knew he was looking my way the whole time. So I couldn't, I, I couldn't get my gun up. I was just frozen. And every time he'd go behind a tree, I try to, I try to, you know, move a little bit more on him. Uh, and finally, um, gosh, and I wish I had this on video because it was, it was so intense. But standing there looking at me, and he's even doing that doe thing where he's, where he did that a couple times, and then he's blowing at me, this, this deep blow. I could see the steam coming out of his nose, and I just went ahead and, and said, man, I better take a shot. And so right at legal shooting light, I got the gun up, free-handed it, and I don't take free-handed shots too often if I can help it, but free-handed it, and there was there's some branches and stuff in front of me and some leaves. I, I threaded the needle and dropped him, and he is laying right there. And I've just been waiting for it to get light enough to, you know, giving him 30, 30 or so minutes, and, um, Seeing it, seeing if anything else came out. Uh, just also just waiting on some some better light. But uh, let's go um, let's go down and check them out and see uh, see what we got. Whew. Let's go check this bad boy out. That's that three-year-old. Wow, broke his back right there. It's not the nine point I was after, but I tell you, I couldn't tell, man. I just knew he was a rack buck and I wasn't gonna take any chances. All right, Martin Luther King Day, last week of uh, Hunting Zone C, and uh, just have really, I have not uh, harvested a deer on this new property here in North Florida until today, so. Really wanted to, uh, was hoping that this was this big nine that I'd been after. But uh, anyway, uh, I just knew that it was a, it was a good rack buck. Uh, he was looking right at me and uh, I needed to take the shot and uh, let the chips fall where they may. But uh, I, I knew it was a legal buck. I knew it was a good buck. He's a little run down because of the rut, but uh, I think he's uh, three and a half years old. I mean, he's got, he's got long G3s. Uh, in relation to his G2s, got pretty good G1s, um, you know, just to the ears. But uh, hey, it's gonna be good meat in the freezer. <sighs> Hunting is good, and buck fever is still the best high ever around. <laughs>